The film opens during the Cretaceous period, 65 million years ago. Several creatures prey upon the smaller animals on the food chain, before a T-Rex goes after the little but deadly dino predators called snappers. As he catches one in his mouth and about to eat it, he gets jumped by the Meg, who leaps out of the water and chomps down on the T-Rex before dragging its bloody corpse underwater. In the present day, Jonas Taylor emerges from a shipping container on a boat sailing across the Philippine Sea. He is there to stop a group of men from dumping toxic waste into the ocean. After slipping by unnoticed into the captain's cabin, he gathers his evidence through photographs, but a talking parrot inside the cabin starts calling for help, which blows his cover. He proceeds to beat down the goons one after another, before he is chased by a dozen men and forced to jump off the ship and into the ocean. Mac and Riga show up in their plane and safely pick up Jonas. At an oceanic institute in China, Zhang Jimin is testing out an exosuit made for working underwater. He is the uncle of Mei Ying and brother of Su Yin, who has passed away recently. Jonas has stepped up as a parental figure to Mei Ying. They attend an event for the institute, headed by Jimin's business partner, Hilary Driscoll. Jimin pays tribute to Su Yin and their father and vows to continue ocean-based research in their honor. Jiu Ming then present Hachi, a captured female megalodon that appears to respond to his commands. They've also managed to develop the technology to pass through the thermocline and observe the natural habitat of the megalodon at 25,000 feet underwater with hope to discover more new species. Ming wants to join the dive at 8,000 meters underwater, together with Jonas, but he quickly refuses her idea, saying she is too young and it's way too dangerous. Jimin dives and tries to do a test where he uses a device to make noises that would either call Hachi, or keep her away from him. During the second run, Hachi does not appear to listen and goes for a bite. The crew gets worried and expect the worst for Jimin as he disappears, until he re-enters the station unharmed. Jonas says Jimin is being reckless and shows concern for Hachi's behavior, saying that a megalodon can't be tamed. When the crew leaves for their dive at Mana 1 station and explore the Mariana Trench, Hachi, who is unattended, ends up breaking through the vents and swims into open waters. Jonas joins Jimin, Mac, Rigas, DJ and meet with another analyst named Jess. Maying stows away despite Jonas telling her to stay behind for safety. As Jonas straps her and tells the crew to pull to the surface, the crew notices Hachi has gone loose and is rapidly approaching them from the surface level. Jonas gives the command to dive deeper, they pass through the thermocline and briefly lose Hachi, but she manages to follow them through their heat signature. They soon realize Hachi is joined by two other megs, one of which is unfathomable in size. Despite the risks the crew manages to convince Jonas to continue exploring the depths and follow the pack of apex predators. They have shields to repel predators and other measures of securing their safety. They find and observe the three megs and Jimin comes to the conclusion they've gathered here to mate. As they scout a bit further ahead, they end up locating a whole station built at the sea floor. They deduce this is an operation by someone powerful and rich. Meanwhile, Montes, one of the men leading a mineral farming operation nearby notices the Mana 1 crew. He sacrifices his men's life and sets off the explosives around the perimeter, hoping to take out Mana 1 crew as well. The explosion also creates a thermocline breach. Mana 1 crew gets hit and pummeled by debris which disables most of their operating systems. After Jonas explains the situation to Mac, Mac tries to get a rescue sub prepped and ready to launch, but they find out someone sabotaged it. Montes also crashed and reports to Driscoll, his boss, who tells him they need to prevent the Mana 1 crew from finding their work at the station. Having no other option, the crew exits the sub using the exosuits, with limited oxygen, and attempt their journey to the nearby station. One crew member, Lance, lags behind and gets killed after being pulled away by a giant underwater creature, while another one, Sal, gets chomped up to pieces by a Meg after pushing a fellow crew member away to safety. As they barely make it to the station before the Meg gets to them, one other crew member, Curtis, has her suit implode before the water is drained since her helmet cracked. The crew then begins to look through the station to find a way to call for help. They quickly find out the purpose of this rogue mining operation is the rare materials, which are worth billions of dollars, as they are used in cutting-edge technology. They turn on a video monitor and contact the station, where they learn that Jess is part of Driscoll's team and has betrayed the others. She releases the escape pods they needed and orders Rigas to shoot Jonas so that at least Mei Ying can return, all the while Driscoll is overlooking the conversation. But Rigas cannot bring herself to do so. Driscoll then speaks to the crew and reveals she is planning to steal Jimin's technology for their operation. Jess then begins to flood them. In order to get out, Jonas has to leave the station to the other nearby sub to try and drain the water out, but he passes out and is caught by Montes. 
He reveals he has a personal grudge with Jonas, because he had him imprisoned a while back for his criminal activities. They get into a brief fight, but Jonas is able to knock him out eventually and drain the water and save the crew. Meanwhile, Mac and DJ watch video footage of Jess sabotaging the sub and they learn of her deception. Driscoll's mercenaries go after them, but the two manage to jump into the ocean to get away. Unfortunately, they end up getting caught anyway. Jonas and the crew take control of the sub and make it back to the Mana 1. They spot the station has been taken over by Mercs and devise a plan to free Mac and DJ. Meanwhile, Monte survived and manages to make his way to the surface. Jonas and the rest take out a few goons and free Mac and DJ. The Megs have made it out and made their way to the station, as Montes rejoins Jess, who is revealed to be his lover. Jess speaks to Driscoll and assures her she is behind Meg proof glass. And then one of the Megs chomps through it, swallowing Jess whole, leaving Montes running for his life and distraught. The station then starts to take in water rapidly, so the crew boards a lifeboat to get away. The Mercs follow them in pursuit, but they use an engine which attracts noise and attention and soon enough, they become Meg food as well. The crew starts making their way toward a resort called Fun Island, since it's inhabited and the sharks are very likely to go there to prey on the unexpected tourist. Jonas creates harpoons with explosives and poison to use against the Megs. Montes then starts going after the crew with the remaining mercs. Nearby, a boat with other tourists gets pulled into the water by a giant squid, which has passed through the thermocline during the breach from the explosions earlier. Driscoll and her team attempt to fly off the island, only for the snappers to emerge, as they've also managed to exit the thermocline. One of them drags Driscoll away and dismember her, while some of the other mercs have unfortunate encounters with them as well. The crew then tries to get the tourists out of the water as the megs begin to show up and start devouring some of the guests. Jonas uses himself as bait to lure the megs and try to kill them with the harpoons, but narrowly avoids getting eaten by one, while DJ, Mac, Regas, and Jimin split off to help as well. Mei Ying also dives into the water to help rescue people, and a dog. The four meet up and encounter the remaining mercs, who hold them at gunpoint, until Jimin gets DJ to open a door, allowing the snappers to come in and eat them, giving them the opportunity to run away. Mac and Jimin find Driscoll's chopper and start to make their way out, but not before they set the snappers chasing them on fire after spraying them with jet fuel. Jonas is able to kill one meg by jamming the explosive harpoon into its face, but before he can go attack the next one, Montes interrupts him. Jonas goes back to the beach to try and help Meing, who is struggling to help people as the Kraken has emerged and is taking everyone underwater, including the chopper that Mac and Jimin are on. Jonas and Montes get into another brief fight and Jonas manages to stab him in the knee, which bleeds down into the water below, alerting the Meg of their position. Jonas then Sparta kicks Montes off the deck, just as the Meg leaps out and devours him. See you later, chum. The giant squid continues to cause havoc on the resort and kills more people, before Jimin uses a makeshift bomb and jams it into the squid's side. The explosion is not enough to defeat the creature however, and it drags Jimin down to the depths, but Hachi swims in and fights bravely the squid. She gets cornered, but manages to bite her way through the tentacles and defeat the kraken. Jonas goes to help Jimin and Mac, who is barely conscious in the crashed helicopter. The second Meg goes after Jonas after he draws attention to it with the blade of the crashed helicopter. The beast goes to swallow him whole, but Jonas impales it through the mouth, finally killing it. Jonas, Mac, and Jimin get in the water to swim back to the beach, but Hachi starts coming their way. Jimin uses his device to get her to swim around them and turn around. He thinks she really does listen to him, but Jonas suggests she is following the dolphins. The three get back to the beach with Regas, Mei Ying, and DJ. Jimin suggests that Hachi got out of her enclosure because it was mating season and she might be pregnant. Jonas says it's best not to think about it, while they sit to have a drink and enjoy having survived their ordeal. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thanks and see you again soon.